We're at uh, Vern here, Mobile World Congress. Hello. Hello, my name is Joker, and I'm in charge of Vernie Marketing. And uh, it's very glad to us to introduce our new flagship in this year. Uh, this one is our Blue 2. And uh, we could be the first to launch it with Helio X30 uh, chipset. And so, so this is uh, the future of uh, uh, MediaTek right here. It's 10 nanometer CPU. It's crazy low nanometers. ARM Cortex A73, 53, 35, with a, you even talking about six gigabytes of RAM? Yes. And eight gigabytes of RAM, even. Yes. And, uh, uh, it's, it's coming in May, right? Yes, it, it will come in May, and uh, we will have a lot of uh, customers and uh, resellers want to sell this, have this, uh, this year. And right now you have the Apollo 1? Apollo, yes, it, the model is Apollo. We launched this in last year and the price is around $205. This is well sold in last year. All right, and then you also have some different ones over here. You have uh, you have Thor, for example. This is very affordable, right? Yes, uh, this, uh, this is our first model we launched last year and the price is around $100. And then you have uh, Apollo Lights, is oh, yeah. X20, yes. more affordable, yes. full HD display. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one is uh, less than how much? Uh, $170. And uh, all these um, can run a special software. You're partnering with a company yes, over there. Uh, I also want to introduce our new uh, software uh, partners, uh, the Oxy. Uh, so, I want to uh, invite my partner to introduce their new app. So here you're gonna connect the. Hello. So who are you? Hi, I'm Jeremy from Oxens. So we are partner with Verni, and we are developing uh, something that is turning your phone into a computer. So you take the Apollo phone. Yeah. But you I can actually Apollo. use any of these we just filmed there. Yeah, the sure. Ninety-nine dollar one. Yeah. So I'm turning on this. I'm plugging it. Up. If it's good. And this is a next dock. Yeah, that's what I'm here. Okay, so you got the phone in remote, and I'm starting Oxy. And now you've got still your phone, but in addition, you got a full des uh, full uh, office desktop environment, <laughs> and you can start any Android app. Um, yeah. You same right here. You yeah. So you, you, can, you can start any Android app, you can run them as Windows? Yeah, any Android app, even if it was not especially made for it, like YouTube. Uh, you can also have some uh, some Office apps, like this is on the OpenOffice. You have uh, Microsoft Word also. Can you resize the windows easily? Oh, sure. How do you do? Um, going here. Just in the corner? Yeah, just in the corner. And just Nice. And this application will have a flat and it's compatible with everything. Can I try? So, uh, what do you have up there? You have uh, the percent, you have a menu, or what do you have up there? Uh, this is just a flat, so you've got the uh, light. If you want to dim the light of the main phone at the same time, you have Bluetooth management. What do you have, have there? This is a background, so that's you can change the background. And then you have a, can you click on the time? Uh, right now there is nothing, but there will be a calendar. Calendar, yeah, exactly. Uh, do you have a, where do you have all the notifications? Notifications are coming up on the right uh, when you've got on the, on the phone. Can so you go and check them? Or only uh, when something no, happens? Only when something happens. And for example, when you have goal, press, it's showing it. And you can, it's also showing on the phone. So you can still uh, take, the, take the call on the phone. Because the phone is completely independent from the so other. So this is the Apollo phone. And you have, a, is, it, uh, is it using a Type-C or a micro USB? Yeah, uh, type, type C. Yeah. Yes, type, type C. Type C. And uh, how is it going out? Is it display link or because you support yeah. different? Yeah. For uh, Oxy, we we'll work with any uh, connection, you, so you can use wireless, for example. But here we used a um, display link adapter, so it's compatible with uh, USB C, for example. And then we are going out with HDMI, and then to the next. So right now it's display link? This is display link. And this is a display link dongle uh, right here? But it could be actually nearly in the cable kind of, but uh, it depends yeah. if display link is supported in the laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this of one course. only supports HDMI input. This one only supports HDMI, that's why we use this. All right, and um, turn your smartphone into a PC. Where are you based? We're based in France, actually, uh, near Paris. Um, 
Yeah, we, it's a new startup. We are one year old, actually. So we start to have a stable release. It's, some ta it's uh, available on some forums uh, for testing on different phones. Uh, soon for it's, it's just for an Apple. app. It's not an app. It's a uh, full. The OS? Yeah, you need to. We need to add some API into the OS to add this kind of behavior, especially independent screen. And uh, but. It's still compatible with every app. We so is this a modified Apollo, or you already convinced them to ship it on every Apollo? Uh, this is modified Apollo. Uh, yeah, we hope we can ship it with it. But so I know uh, not, you I modify tell. the framework of Android, something you add to it, right? Actually, we modify, we add some API into the Android framework. framework. Okay. Is it potentially included with Android 7, that you don't need to modify anything? Yeah, actually, Android 7 is uh, technically is working uh, a lot differently. Um, we could some of the API we had are the same as the Android Android 7, but uh, Android 7 is not enough. We need, still need to modify right now. And still not enough. No, no. What does it mean? Google didn't learn the lesson yet. What is going on? I don't Why know. didn't you add those <laughs> things in there? <laughs> that was the question I had actually. So uh, I still don't know. Even with but you're doing it. Yeah, we're but doing it. But you have to modify a firmware. How much work is it to do that? Actually, right now. Uh, if we know uh, the firmware, for example, right now we are based on Marshmallow, and we know the modification to do, so we can port it on uh, any uh, manufacturer's code or even AOSP. Uh, we have um, available on internet, we have something based on uh, Cyanogen mode slash lineage OS, and uh, we will soon be, um, Oxy will soon be available with, um, with Nuga. Not yet. So uh, this looks awesome and great. Um, how's the performance? Because uh, this is a Deca core phone, and this is going to be an X30. It's going to be very important to use all these yeah, ten cores. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, are you? Is it automatically in Android that some of the background windows use some cores and the other in front use different cores? Mm -hmm. or how does it work? Uh, for us, we, as we have a, like a simple app, or app is not using a lot, so. Uh, Wait, you, you have a lot of optimizations you can still do? We, we can still optimize, but right now it's really fast because our environment is like just a small addition and it's not taking a lot of memory. And uh, basically, the more memory you have, the more apps you can launch. And with 4 GB on Apollo and I think 8 GB on this one, you can launch any number of applications you want right now. And uh, you can easily multitask. Uh, do you have some gestures to go from one to the other? Or? Not right now. We are more uh, focused on the, on the stability and the, on the technical stuff. But right now we will work on ergonomy. <laughs> so what is the kind of process you do? You're based in France. Yeah. Do you travel to Shenzhen to partner up with people? Or what do you yeah. do? Yeah, not, not me, but my um, uh, the director, uh, Laurent Alagero, who went into China and met Vianney, uh, and they were really interested. So we partner and they invited to, to where, where are you based in France? Uh, actually, we have uh, we are based in Neuilly. Uh, in Neuilly. In Neuilly. Neuilly. But we have uh, some. Is that uh, in Paris? Yeah, it's close to Paris, yeah. and uh, we have an uh, office in Versailles. Versailles yeah, in the Versailles. castle. Close to the castle, not in the castle. That would be great, yeah, but yeah. we're close to it. That should be the future. Uh, the future masters of the world yeah. should be based in Versailles, I think. Oh, would be great. Take over Microsoft <laughs> and Mac. And maybe even influence uh, Chrome OS, because uh, who knows, there might be a full version of Chrome coming to Android at some point. And uh, so how does it compare with Linux OS, Phoenix OS, and oh, Chromium? That's, that's, how do you actually, that's a good guys? question. So uh, I would say like two sides. There is the um, Andromium and uh, if you, there is also, uh, uh, what's the name, Lina OS and stuff like this. They are doing some apps. So you can start uh, apps that are, were designed to launch in it. Only so a few apps, I suppose. Only a few apps, because you need the developer to add some SDK. I'm not even sure it's available. And so basically, they add to code each app. So they code a browser, an email, uh, email They clients. have eight apps or something. So there is, like, yeah, of course. They Maybe can feel they later. have eight. Maybe they only have Maybe six. Eight. Of course, there is a browser, so that's useful. I mean, it's but great. But, uh, yeah. But then there's Remix and Phoenix, they also support Remix full apps. Remix and Phoenix are doing something else. They are um, replacing, sorry, they're replacing the Android system. So with Remix OS, for example, you plug it, you plug uh, 
Remix OS on the screen, and we've got Remix OS. And that's it. It's not working on smartphone right now. Of course, there is uh, the new project they had, um, which is kind of uh, similar to us. Uh, but Remix OS, uh, like the one we know actually, is only working uh, on maybe tablets, but mostly small device that you connect to your TV. And uh, yeah, that's the difference. For but us, you're doing we Android con Continuum. Yeah. We're doing Android Continuum. And we, we like to say we do it better. <laughs> you do it better than yeah. these guys, you think? That's what we, Can wh you what we it? just to say. Um, How many people are using this right now? Is only in your company a few testers? Right now, there is a few testers on the internet, on some French forums. And uh, I think we have got like maybe 100 installations. So that's not a lot, but it's, they are giving us a lot of good feedback. Good feedback, sorry. And uh, that would be great if you could, uh, if you want to download it right now, you can uh, go on some forums, for example, uh, Android or Phone Android forums, French forums. But we'll soon uh, put a website, a consumer website. Uh, I don't know the address yet, so uh, get in touch. It's oxens.com, where you can download the, the different uh, application for some tests. And then you need to download the ROM. Yes, of course. For specific phones. Yeah, of course. So right now we have, uh, I think, six, seven uh, different numbers. At least, I would say eight. Uh, from flagships like yeah. OnePlus, Note 4, uh, LG. I don't think it's a big deal, you know? Yeah. You just need to partner. You, uh, how do you contact with Bernie? Uh, yeah, of course. we. biz dev uh, yeah, went so there and... Uh, actually, I'm, not, I'm CTO, I'm lead dev, so <laughs> I'm not too much into the business. But uh, Laurent went there and uh, did a lot of contacts. You just need we have to right now, yeah, right and now, put it in the firmware. Right now, we have a lot of contacts with a lot of manufacturers. So we're in discussion with a lot of them. And we hope that Oxy can be uh, shipped with the maximum number of front brands. And, yeah. That's very, very cool. And the next dock, they shipped all their backers, right? Everybody's happy with the next dock. Uh, the first time I see it for real. Well, nice yeah, guys. Yeah, we a bit like... Uh, yeah. Somebody, uh, some, somebody needs to make a, a next dock with display link built in. Yeah. So you just connect the USB, nothing else. Yeah, or even uh, with um, MHL uh, Slimport. Yeah, for for Slimport, for example, uh, we have some friend in uh, Mirax, uh, Miraxes, uh, which are doing yeah. the two nine nine dollars. Yeah. yeah. If, if you can see that, they're nice. Yeah. <laughs> but they are somewhere else, right? Yeah, just a bit uh, on the other side. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I filmed those guys in, in CES. All right. Yeah, we didn't went to the CES. We just went to MWC. Yeah, <laughs> MWC is the most important. Cool. So there it is. Um, that's cool. Maybe this the this is the way to use an ARM processor and to use Android and to use these yeah. crazy fast processors for uh, yeah. all the potential that they have. Yeah, because you can never use that on a smartphone screen. It's too small. Yeah, and it has also some other beneficial. Uh, for example, if you a phone is you can keep it every time, so so everywhere, so it's easier to securize. You won't get stolen, and you can encrypt data very easily. So. It's safer uh, for um, fleet management. It's really easy for companies. Uh, you can do just a backup with this. You don't you don't sync your device. You do just you do just backup. Uh, so you just backup your your data. You lose your phone. It's okay. You just get a new one and you put back your data, and you put back your data into the computer. Right now, it's not as easy. To can do you that. certify with GMS? Hmm? GMS, GMS certification is still with your firmware, all that uh, stuff. Right now we're working with the CTS. Uh, CTS, sorry. We, we are, yeah, we're, we're working with the CTS uh, validation right now. But as we're working with um, community uh, Android right now on VNE, VNE is still with Google Play service right now. And uh, for the user, it's as it's uh, open source project, it didn't ship uh, Google Play, but you can install it. In, but we're, just, work, we're working on, into having the CTS, uh, the CTS validation, and that's our goal. We don't, we just, we don't want to uh, change Android. We want to add something on it. That's uh, that's the point of compared to Remix OS, for example. What's your business model? How are you going to make money? Ah, is it, it's <laughs> not question. free, right? Good, uh, good question. Uh, we're working. We we want to work with uh, companies uh, like B two B. Uh, B2C, for example, if we can do maybe some uh, crowdfunding soon, I hope. Yeah. 
crowdfunding, so you will uh, maybe ship a phone with it pre-installed. That'd be great. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Oh, right nice. now, I, I can't tell right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We and then uh, over here, you're showing a different demo yeah. right there. Let's go behind here. Uh, it's running on a projector also. Yeah, so it can also work wireless. Uh, so yeah. this is with this one. Oh, no more ah, battery. Oh, it works with America <laughs> also. Yeah, this is America. Uh, Wi-Fi display. So we work on the latency, so there is no latency with the mouse. Nice. Uh, for example, if you compare with, uh, if you use it, for example, with Comcast. Is the Miracast compatible uh, dongle over there? It's compatible here. Is it dongle or the projector is Miracast and that's oh, it? Oh, it's, um, dongle. it's a Microsoft uh, wireless display. Ah, so wireless yeah, it's a Microsoft one. Uh, Microsoft is working well with it. Uh, we also test uh, Action Tech, are great also. Uh, we didn't try all the brand actually. But so, uh, did the Google engineer come by the booth here? Hmm? Any Googlers or Microsoft employees look at this? Right now, we, we haven't seen anyone. This morning, I didn't see any employee from Google or Microsoft. I think they hide behind uh, shell companies, you know? Yeah. So, you never maybe. know it's a Google. Maybe, actually. maybe, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and Apple, I'm sure they're here and like, oh my god, this is the future of uh, OS. I'm not sure X. Apple. I'm not oh, sure Apple. Apple. iOS. Yeah, I'm not sure Apple has want to do that because uh, they are not they are thinking device uh, because you have an iPhone you have an iMac uh, I'm a, I'm a good hope you can sync them but of course if you can just buy one phone you won't buy the the, the computer so that's not cool. I don't think they want to do that actually. nice all right uh, yeah we need to check the UI more I'm looking forward to see uh, how how how, it, uh, how it's going. And you can easily click full screen. Yeah, we can run the free. Uh, for example, if we use, we develop some tools. Uh, for example, this kind of games have. Uh, two joysticks on it. Mm. So, for example, you have like two joysticks here. Um, you can launch an app with the on it. You can switch to pad mode. Um, basically, you found you have back all your control here. This is um, your the, ah, the screen. The touch is sent to the, the app. So that means mm. you can play with two joysticks like this and have it as a as a joystick controller. If you have a game using uh, accelerometer on gyroscope, you can nice. uh, do a race like this. This is also great for games. How do you click full screen? Then it's just one of the uh, we have like two modes. We have maximize. So maximize, you can see, see uh, the status bar we hide. You can see the, the, the Zoom time. And, yeah. no, it's not uh, right, now, right now, no, but we are working on it. And then you can uh, This is scale. completely full screen. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, have you tested every two million apps already? Oh. It all work? <laughs> uh, no. I just there is a. a Sometimes we find some incompatibilities, but we are working on it. Uh, uh, actually, for example, uh, with Bowser, we had a lot of RAM for a long time because the Bowser was not adapted to the size of the virtual screen. Uh, we are doing here, and uh, now it's fixed. So we are working every day to work to do it better. But before we were sharing an alpha to internet. Now we can call it a beta, and even uh, maybe not release candidate. But we have we have um, reached a point of stability. How many engineers? Uh, right now we are um, we are a team of four in Oxy. Uh, so we are a very small team. Uh, so you have seen uh, Laurent before, but. Sadly, is not here anymore, and uh, he's the uh, CEO. Uh, I'm the CTO, the dev, and we have another another uh, person uh, in the team. So. Cool, that's awesome. So maybe the future of um, OS is going to be French. Yeah. All right. That would be great. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay.